What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson urges Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder to continue fighting. The former undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson has urged both Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder to continue fighting. Earlier this month, Fury and Wilder traded punches in one of the best heavyweight fights in the last few years. Fury retained the WBC heavyweight title when overcame two knockdowns to knock Wilder out in the 11th round at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Fury has yet to make an official decision regarding his boxing future, but there are some observers who wouldn't rule out a potential retirement. Others, like two-division champion Ricky Hatton, believes Fury has nothing left to prove and should walk away from the sport. That will be another video. Tyson, who Fury is named after, would like to see the British star on the back of his recent performance continue forward. And this is what he had to say. Quote, keep on winning, brother. Keep on winning, Tyson said. He's the lineal champion. He's the man who beat the man. He is the heavyweight boxing. He is heavyweight boxing, period. He is nobody else. Ask anybody except for Alexander Usyk, who is the heavyweight champion. And Usyk might even say Fury. Fury's wife, Paris, expects her husband to continue fighting for at least a few more years. Fury's next fight is slated to take place in March or April, and it may be the mandatory defense against Dillian White. And when it comes to Wilder, Tyson wants to see him recover from the recent loss and come back even stronger. He says, keep fighting, make money, stack your money up and call it a day, Tyson said, during the trilogy fight. Uh, of course, Wilder suffered a hand injury and underwent surgery. He is also expected to fight again in the first half of 2022. Those are the words of Mike Tyson. Now, <sighs> Mike likes to see exciting fights. He likes to see exciting fights. Um, do I necessarily necessarily agree with him? Yes and no. Um, I agree with Mike as far as Tyson Fury continue fighting, but Wilder, no. Okay. The only situation I can see Wilder fighting Fury again is if Tyson fights the rest and Deontay Wilder fights the best. Bars. <laughs> Seriously, these guys have to venture out and fight other opponents. Okay. Tyson Fury has to remain at his status. Okay. To show everybody that I can stay consistent. This isn't the old Tyson Fury. Let me win one fight and disappear for a few years. I need to do, I need to show, or he needs to show rather, that he can do the same thing again and again with other opponents with better skill set like Usyk, like Andy Ruiz, like Joe Joyce, okay? Where is Deontay Wilder? Deontay Wilder has to show also that he, for one, can continue. He is not damaged uh, to the degree that he is not uh, on that level no more because that could, that could happen in the sport, okay? I think of Fernando Vargas, a perfect example. He was really never the same fighter after the Trinidad fight. So Deontay Wilder has to come in and get his confidence back and then himself continue or continue really uh, begin to fight the best. OK, and I'm not talking about the Spilkas and the Eric Molinas and guys like that, because we know those guys have no credibility because those guys are no longer winning and they're no longer really successful as fighters. OK, let's just keep it real. But um, if he, if Wilder can hit and beat someone like other than Ortiz, OK, if he can fight somebody and beat them like um Let's see. Charles Martin. Charles Martin's a good fight, but that would be a comeback fight for him. Um, another Southpaw. Who else? Uh, maybe Daniel Dubois. That would be a good fight because a lot of people would now try to put the, that guy in there with Wilder at this point. Um, Andy Ruiz, they're on the same stable. They could fight themselves. You know, uh, Joe Joyce is another guy. These guys could fight. Joseph Parker would be another. You know, Oscar Rivas, I don't know if he will continue the, the Bridger weight deal, but there's a lot of fights that can be made. 
Okay, for Wilder, you know, you got Wilder and Joshua. And let's say Tyson Fury never gets to fight Joshua. Well, Wilder could. If Joshua loses again, Wilder could fight Joshua and still a huge fight. They're talking it up because they know, hey, there's no other big fight like that that they really see people oohing and eyeing about. But that would be the only reason I could see Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury coming back because they beat everybody else and then they full circled back together. That would be pretty cool. You know what I mean? In that case, okay, this is the fourth fight because we're satisfied now because there's no one else left. There's no one else to fight. But if there's someone else to fight, why would we want to see rematch after rematch after rematch after redo? Okay, so... Um, Mike Tyson, you know, of course, I mean, it was an exciting fight, but who says all these fights will be the same, right? But if they're all the same, they're all exciting, why not see it again? We'll see it again when these guys beat all these other, other opponents. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mike Tyson, the saying that he urges Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury to continue fighting. Um, you guys tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.